Right, what's happening boys and girls, how are we, how are we doing? So, today I'm just going to be taking you through the first session in the new split, which is upper lower, delts and arms, upper lower. Now, I have done a walkthrough of a leg day and a push day, but those were just random splits, it wasn't really anything set in stone. Whereas this is what the plan will be until gyms reopen. I've tried to replicate as much as I can what my actual split is like in the gym so that when they do reopen you can just kind of hit the ground running and there won't be that much of a break-in period still some because obviously the accuracy of the equipment that we will have access to this is as best as we're going to get now again i'm not complaining this equipment that we do have access to is amazing to be fair compared to what a lot of people have first up we have a cable chest fly more towards well biased towards those upper fibers uh, the daisy chains just allow you to get basically a dual dual cable system well, no no it's not really a fucking dual cable system but you know what i mean just allows you to use both hands instead of just having that one singular cable so it allows for a lot more range of exercise that we can do i think it was three sets of this all 12 to 15 uh, around 45 kilo now you couldn't go in this way across instead of going that way i found it a bit easier because of the daisy chains rubbing against those poles those poles were in a terrible position so hopefully get a new bench that's one a bit thicker because your back kind of hangs off on this and just having the bars there like set there is quite annoying so first exercise was about a pre-exhaustion this one's now like the main exercise the one where we'll drive a lot of mechanical tension through this was 42 kilo for six reps, which is two reps down from last week, but two kilo up. So we got the 40s last week. Now, the last time that I pushed the 42 kilos was, I think it was November last year. Um, I pushed them for like five reps. So managed, the fact that I managed to get a PR with gyms being shut because we've not had these dumbbells, like um, been able to go up that high on these dumbbells weight wise. So being able to get back to this weight is good and such a short space of time now next we have the cuff cable pullover the reason we're using the cuffs on the elbow is to alleviate that joint pressure from the wrist from the elbow and i feel a bit a bit of joint pressure relief from the shoulder now the reason we have this first is so that you can get the lat fully short again it was the same as same as the chest chest exercise the first one that we done your ability to fully contract a muscle as the session go on diminishes greatly so putting something like this first over like a bent over row is far good is going to be far more beneficial because trying to get that fully shot is going to be really really difficult now what we're doing is we're just thinking about pulling straight down keeping everything nice and tight as possible pulling down and then when you can't come any further back once you've pulled down you kind of slight bend in the elbows and just squeeze as hard as you can in that last rep um so again about three sets on this uh, about how many sets? No, three sets at eight to twelve reps. One at eight to twelve and two at twelve to fifteen. And then I think the incline dumbbell press was two sets. One at six to ten and one at eight to twelve. Now we have chest supported upper back row. Ideally, you would want like a unilateral row so you can pull like that. But again, we don't have access to that equipment, so this is kind of like the substitute for that. Now it is still pretty good. But the pressure on your chest is quite a lot, even though we do have a foam roller there, it's still quite uncomfortable. So again, there's 70 kilo on the bar here, so having 70 kilo as well as me laying down on it, it does get quite sore. So I don't know how much I'm going to be able to progress this movement, but hopefully by the time gym's open, um, I won't need to be thinking about that. Now, next exercise, just shoulder one, uh, cuffed lateral raise. Again, reason using the cuffs, same idea as the pull down, pull over alleviate some pressure from the wrist from the shoulder joint and the elbow joint looking back at these reps they could have been a good bit better now what i'm doing is when i'm going up is i'm trying to get my pinkies right over my thumbs and fully contract that muscle again this is a really really good exercise on different days we do have like a dual dual one and a laying one so three different types hitting it from three different angles and then just some partials at the end to squeeze it out and then this is just on the other arm we did have a cable press cluster set at the end but just i think i think camera ran out of battery so i couldn't film it but again it was just a wee rest pause it was what was it 15 reps and 10 second rest seven reps 10 second rest five reps and that was the workout so short and sweet again trying to replicate as much as we can so that when we do get back to the gym it will be nice and fresh um, so that's the end of the episode. That's the end of the episode. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please be sure to leave a like rating, and I will see you in the next walkthrough.